Hey church, good afternoon, it's Pastor Gary coming with uh, This Week in Rock Hall. Hey, uh, if you missed it this weekend, you missed a great time at Wesley Chapel. We had our uh, annual, I guess it is now, this is the second year we've done a, a, uh, a Samaritan's Purse Christmas shoebox uh, carnival for kids. Uh, what you do is a fundraiser to raise money to, to, to package uh, the shoeboxes to send the gospel message and uh, gifts around the world. So thank you to all who came out and helped and all who uh, donated and all who uh, served and, and who, who came. Uh, it was a great time. Played some great games with some kids. Uh, it was just a good afternoon. Uh, so thank you for being a part of that on Saturday. Uh, then yesterday, Sunday, we, we kicked off a new message series on the book of Ephesians. Who do you think you are? Uh, the book of Ephesians was written by the Apostle Paul, and he spends a lot of time teaching the church there in the city of Ephesus of who they are in Christ. Uh, and so, so we want to look at that, and, and what does that mean for us today, who we are in Christ here in Rock Hall. So uh, this week coming, we'll be in Ephesians chapter 1. Uh, I ask you to spend some time, go ahead and re be reading that in advance. Uh, as always, 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 I want to encourage everyone to be a part of a small group. There, Monday night, we have a men's group starting up. Wednesday, there's a, a group of a study on prayer that's starting. Uh, there, there's groups for women, there's groups for couples. Uh, check the calendar down below. There's plenty of ways for you to be a part uh, where you and your family can be a part uh, and you can grow closer to Christ this fall. Uh, so I, I thank you for being a part of those. Those of you who are, you know the importance of it. Um, I will say that on Sunday, I invited us to, to take part in a new spiritual practice. Uh, this week was memorizing scripture, and, and I admitted that, that I lose my keys more often than anything. But, but the practice of trying to memorize scripture is good because I read that same passage of scripture again and again and again throughout the week, or daily, or however you do it. This week I encourage us all to, to memorize uh, 2 Corinthians 5.17. It's, it's a powerful scripture, and, and you might want to just write it down and memorize it. Read it daily. Read it several times a day. Uh, simple passage. It says, if anyone is in Christ, is a new creation. The old is gone, the new has come. God did all this for us to reconcile us to God the Father through Christ and to give us the ministry of reconciliation. Just, just write that down and, and memorize it. Uh, make it part of your prayer. Anyway, it's a great way to do it. All right. Uh, again, if you have any prayer requests, please let me know. John A. and I would, and others are, would love the opportunity to be able to pray with you. Um, hope to see you in a small group this week. If not, we'll see you this weekend. All right. God bless you. And remember, everywhere you go, that Christ is alive and you looking to do something for you right where you are. God bless you. Again, it's an honor to be your pastor. We'll see you soon. God bless you.